Forward! Backward! Forward! Backward! <laughs> Hey, what's up and welcome back to Motion RC. I'm your product specialist, Wesley, and today's quick tip, we're gonna be talking all about the reverse function that is available in most of our new models. Today on the table, I have the little 64 millimeter F22, but this is gonna be the same whether you're doing the Avanti V2, uh, the Cougar, uh, the Panther 64, the F1664, any of our models that now have that reversing function. So, in order to do this, all we need to do is have an open channel on our receiver. So in my case, I'm using a Radchon. I believe this is an A channel in here, but I only really need six. But if you're gonna do any of our larger scale airplanes that have retracts and flaps, you're gonna need at least seven channels to take advantage of this. But without further ado, let's get down on the table and let's start showing you around one of these reversers. All right, now that we have the model here on the table, what I wanna show you is something I get asked a lot is, do I even have to use the reverse function? And the answer is no. If you don't have an open channel, if you only are running six and you need a seven, anything like that, it's very simple. You just leave the ESC reversing cable unplugged, and I have the model on right now, and it will work just like a normal uh, model. So as you can see, I still have throttle control, uh, with that unplugged and I can still run all of my other functions of my airplane. Now if you want to use it, like I said, this is very simple. We're going to take that and plug it into any open channel. Now in the case of this F-22, I'm going to plug it into the gear channel, which is channel 5. So there we go, I have it plugged in and my normal gear switch is SF on my uh, receiver unless I program it differently. So let's just test it for a second. And it switches between the two modes. Great. Now let's get down into our transmitter and I want to show you how I set it up a little bit differently. It's not that it doesn't work here, but I don't like it here in case I flip that I want it to be on a momentary. So I always put it over here on SH. All right, so now that we're into the radio system, like I said, we want to move that channel from here to over here. It's as simple as we go to linkage menu. We're going to go to our function list, and you can see our gear is on SF right now. Now what we want to do is put that on SH. So it's as simple as clicking there and hitting SH. SH function. We can go into the monitor screen and make sure. So now our gear channel should go between the two channels when we hit the switch. And it does. Now let's plug the model back in and show you how this actually works. All right, now that we have the model turned on, we can now verify whether it's working correctly or not. So if I give it throttle, we're in reverse. The switch is working but it's the wrong way. No big deal. All we need to do is go into our linkage menu and then we need to go to our servo reverse and we need to take channel five, which is our gear, and just simply reverse that channel now. Now if we go back to the home screen, we should have forward like it says. And we do. Now when we hold that switch and give it throttle, we have reverse. That's as easy as this is. Now for customers that run other uh, radio systems, like I said, I like to find a momentary switch. So for a spectrum, it's going to be the I button up here. Uh, a lot of people call it the bind button. But on Futaba, I really like it on SH, which is the momentary over in the corner. That's as easy as this is, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip. Uh, don't forget, you can like, share, and subscribe here to the Motion RC YouTube channel. Go over and check us out on the Motion RC customer community page over on Facebook. And as always, whether it's land, sea, or air, Motion RC has what you want. See you in the next video. Bye.